So, okay, let's get started. A question we frequently uh, come across is someone says, well, you know, I don't know about X3 because I'm training to, to fire my, tra training to engage my type 2B fibers. Like, I'm trying to get to a certain type of type of fiber, which I know I'm more predisposed. Like somebody who's a sprinter, they're like, I'm only training my fast twitch fibers and my slow twitch fibers. Um, it amazes me that there are still uh, people believing that you can train a certain fiber and not another certain fiber uh, based on its fiber type. Now, there is such a thing as fiber type, and they do engage at different rates. Now, when I tell you the rates, you will understand how stupid this line of thinking is. So, I'm just, this is just from physiology text. Like text, like this has been around since like the 1970s that we've known this. So, uh, probably before most of you were born. So, slow twitch fiber, which is type one, engages in 100 milliseconds. So, way less than a second. Type 2A, fast twitch, the difference between slow and fast, 50 milliseconds, so it fires twice as fast. But that's in a window of time that is immeasurable by humans. I mean, instruments can measure it, but you can't like snap your fingers 100 milliseconds or 50 milliseconds apart. So, and then of course type 2B is very fast, it's 25 milliseconds. So, the point is, you're engaging a muscle when you exercise, when you use X3 or you lift weights. Uh, and if you're contracting that muscle and you're conscious of that contraction, you're engaging everything. And everything grows when you stimulate, when you take the musculature to fatigue. Whether it's standard training, obviously greater level of fatigue with X3, greater level of growth with X3, but you're, you're fatiguing all of these things. They're all firing. It's a speed of activation, that's the only thing. So you can't really train for a specific fiber type. So it is information that while it exists, is highly meaningless to you. Therefore, you should not pay attention to it. There are many more other things that you should pay attention to that are other than that. So that is today's Falsehood of fit, uh, Fitness. And I'm back-to-back, uh, -back, multiple podcasts. I'm headed to Greece uh, to launch OsteoStrong there. I'm giving a couple lectures to uh, some of the medical authorities in that country. And uh, they're all coming to Athens to uh, hear me talk, so let's help you know, I don't screw that up. That's okay, I practice this quite a bit. And that same, same presentation that I gave uh, at the um, International Osteoporosis Foundation Conference uh, a couple weeks ago in Sydney, uh, right before Christmas. So, uh, very exciting, and I'll share some of the comments and exciting things from that, and then I come back for a week, I'll do another false set of fitness, so not next week, but the week after, and then I head to Iceland after that for some more osteostrong openings. Osteostrong's on fire. A lot of people with greater bone density. Uh, a lot of happy people out there. Uh, some, some, of the, some people are just higher performing athletes because they're fracture resistant who use osteostrong. But the people who I care most about are the ones like my mother, which is why I invented it. These are the people who had a real need. They were at risk of fracture and they're no longer at risk of fracture because they have strong bone. Uh, and so Osteo Strong delivers. So thanks for tuning in. I know this is a quick one. Uh, I'll uh, have time for questions probably the next Falsehoods of Fitness. Have a great weekend.